this is the end of day one. It has been a whirlwind. Um, we loaded in the convention center this morning at 11 a.m. Um, and it was such an interesting experience because I've gone to this show for almost 20 years, but I have never seen the behind the scenes movement. Rude, beeping. Okay, so I just wanted to give you guys a little sneak peek of what is happening, what's transpiring, what we got accomplished today. So my amazing crew from Corona, we they just did such an incredible job. We were able to get the lower pathway done. Um, behind me, you're gonna see our steel staircase. Um, I have an incredible contractor who worked on those for me. Uh, it's Iron Man Ornamental. Um, Oh my gosh, the beep bang. Working out theater lighting. Um, okay, beeping has finally stopped. The first little behind the scenes is this garden. It's created by a company called Fancy Fronds. I'm really excited to see what they do. Um, over here, they have the start of a beautiful basalt column fountain. They were test driving this earlier today, making sure everything is watertight. They've done an incredible mural behind me. They've started setting just a few trees. The other thing that's cool is it looks like they're doing a little bit of a fire pit situation and a hammock pergola, which I'm super into. Um, it also looks like they're gonna do some sort of secondary seating area behind me. So I'm curious, right now she looks a little naked. So I'm going to be curious to see how they make it feel more nestled in and yummy and like some place you want to hang. These guys, there's beeping, more beeping. Next up, this is Bluegrass Construction. And I'm very curious. Um, they have been going, 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 going all day long. Their crew was insane. I think they were trying to build this thing. I think they were trying to build this darn thing in a single day, which is incredible. And I really, I just need to turn around for a second and kind of appreciate what is happening because it's just cool. I'm obsessed. Okay, we have no idea what's going on over there. Mystery structure. And then obsessed, commonly referred to as an old man walking stick. We've got some gorgeous rocks in the landscape. Look at this beautiful alpine. I have no idea what's happening here. I have no idea. It's super curious. So what you can see behind me is they've actually attached these to a plywood structure and I am totally perplexed at what is gonna happen here. Very exciting. Okay, now this next one, I have to say I'm actually incredibly jealous. We have an incredible structure behind me. So this pergola is definitely more rustic, very chunky, heavy, and they only have a few things in, but this right here is possibly one of the largest witch hazels I have ever seen. Um, it looks like a Hamamelis Arnold's Promise, but I, they have somehow standardized it, and I don't know if they grafted it. I'm kind of curious what they put it on to. Okay. All right, I saw these columns go in earlier and they were just kind of spread all the way around and I wasn't into it, I'll be honest. But now that I see some walls coming in and this platform in the middle, I kind of think you're gonna be able to go through this garden like a maze. So, I don't know, mystery events. Okay, let's go next. Okay, this next garden behind me is also a bit of a mystery. The folks that usually showcase here, apparently they like to get some big stuff done. I believe they are not even gonna bring in any sawdust for planting until Monday from what I've heard. So, mystery. 
Now around the exterior, um, there are some of these occasional beds, and I don't know what this is gonna be. I don't know who's putting this garden in, um, but there are some beautiful little features. Loving this little house here. Okay. This next house structure over here, love it. It's natural, it feels collected, it feels very lived in. So while there's really nothing going on yet in terms of plants, they're building a really beautiful foundation. Behind me is West Seattle Nursery. Every year they are one of my favorites. I was actually surprised to see that there wasn't a lot of action in terms of plants today. They have a giant tree behind me. I haven't even gotten up close to see what it is. And this structure is reclaimed windows. It's amazing, it feels collected. This is also very interesting to me. We have got a lot of collected woods and it looks like what's gonna be a water feature. We get to talk about my love. Okay, do we get to talk about the love of my life yet? Do we? Do we get to talk about her? Ah. This is Hartley Botanical. This incredible greenhouse has been going up all day. They have been working. Everything has been bubble wrapped. It's just piece by piece. They've got a huge crew working. Cannot wait to see it. Okay, I think we really only have two gardens left. This garden, I don't have really a clear sense of anything that's going in yet. They really have been hard at work just constructing walls and bringing in tons of sawdust. Okay, next up. Next up is, mm, beeping. Next up is Living Room Landscape. I saw these ladies last year. It was their first year at the show. They went with a very small garden, but the things that they chose were beautiful. And this year it looks like they have, they just, they just have totally amped up their game. We have incredible mature trees coming in. A lot of these are borrowed from a nursery called Big Trees. They have also utilized an incredible kick wall. Um, this really helps keep a lot of the dirt in and is something unusual that we're really not seeing. Just absolutely stunning, stunning rock. Incredible striation through the block. It looks like you will be able to walk through this garden and really get a sense. It, I think it's gonna feel kind of like a mini forest. Very excited. Okay, one last one and then we're off to check mine. Okay, I saw the folks from Avon Landscape and one of the gentlemen from Brightscapes working on the display behind me. They have gotten a long way. So far, what I am loving is their evergreen game. They are bringing in some beautiful specimens. And in fact, this one, I don't mean to be a creeper, but I'm gonna be. An icy blue yellow wood. It's a podocarpus. What? Okay, check that out. Podocarpus. What the heck? It's like, it looks like an olive tree meets a lavender. Very, very excited. Yeah, so far some really interesting plant selections. Gorgeous structure, beefy but simple. Bright red grill. Unsure, okay. Now I need to do, before I take off for the rest of the day, I'm gonna grab my plants. This is kind of the perfect time to do it. It's such a madhouse during the day with forklifts, trucks. I mean, the noise, my ears are still ringing. So I'm gonna seize this opportunity. I'm going to collect my, my color order as well as some smaller items. And I'm just gonna wheel them over so that when I come in tomorrow, fresh cup of coffee, the crew is there and I'm just prepared for us to have a really fantastic day. Okay, so welcome to the staging area. This is where all of our plants are coming in. The vendors have dropped everything. This is 
Hello Garden. Um, I just have two racks here of smaller items that I had shipped to me. But I'm looking over here at this rhododendron. Look at this foliage, it's absolutely incredible. And also looking at this, this Korean fur is so beautiful. If you look in here at these cones, they're just, they're just stunning. Okay. You can just see one in through here. What's really cool about this is it looks like it's a Christmas tree that's already been frosted. This one. Look at this thing. Are you kidding me? I mean, this is just an incredible bonsai structure. I don't know if you can see this, but you can see how they've actually trained every single limb coming down here. It is a stunning piece of art. Oh my gosh. So excited. Okay, off we go. Okay, and behind me, you can see what remains of sawdust, mulch, giant boulders from Marinacos. We have a few little finishing touch rocks. More beefing. These guys. Beefing. Okay, we still have a few more rock special items coming in. But more on that tomorrow. A final note about what we refer to as color. When we're doing a garden show, we have to play with mother nature, right? So a lot of times it means we are coaxing these things into bloom artificially. Sometimes mother nature does not like to play and we have to have last minute substitutions. However, what we are looking for when we're starting a show like this, is during the setup process, we don't want to see a whole lot of blooms, contrary to what you might think. What you really want to see is this. We have buds. They're not quite at the top of the foliage. In fact, sometimes, like right down here, you can see that they're just emerging. I love a pot of color like this because what it means is I am going to get some color on day one of this show. However, on day five of this show, I'm also gonna have fresh color coming in. Okay. 
last but not least, this is my neighbor. This is Tony's garden. Um, what I love is that he's doing something so different than me. And one of the most special things is actually in the background. You can see these charred trees and just the effect that this burned wood is giving to the whole thing is totally stunning. And I was even telling him earlier today, I said, you know, I think the thing that I love about us having such different gardens is it's not a competition, but because they're so different, they almost amplify one another. Um, anyways, such a great first day. I am totally exhausted and I'm going to bed. I will see you tomorrow.